Hello my friends, today we are continuing with our mini-series in Luminar Neo and we are talking about color harmony. I will use this photo as an example and we will go to edit and the color harmony tool is over here on the right side. I will click on it and we are presented with a lot of sliders. Some of these sliders are very intuitive and some not so much, but don't you worry. I am here to help you out and explain to the best I can to you. Hopefully they will make sense and will uh, greatly improve your skills of editing photos. First, we'll start with brilliance and warmth. Brilliance is just another way of saying saturation. If you increase it to the right, you will increase the saturation in your image. And if you take it to the left, you will decrease the saturation in your image. Double click on the little button and it resets it to zero. Warm slider, it's just like the white balance. If you move it to the right, you're introducing a lot of warm tone. And if you move it to the left, you're cooling the white balance. Double click to reset. Next one, it's color contrast. And this one, it's the one that most people have most trouble with because it's not very intuitive. And for that, I will choose a different example so I can better explain to you what it does. I will go back to color harmony. And the way this works, first of all, if I increase the amount and you'll see the hue slider goes from zero to 360. Most other sliders in Luminar goes to only 100. Why is this 360? Well, these are the 360 degrees in the circle of colors, the color wheel. So if we start to red on red, for example, and we go 180 degrees, we'll go to complete opposite to the blue. And if we continue to go back to 360, we'll do a full circle. So we have from zero to 360, the degrees of the colors on our color wheel. When we increase the amount, we're increasing the effect. What this effect does is whichever color is picked under the hue slider, it would lighten it. And it creates contrast by darkening the opposite color on the wheel. So if we lighten the reds, then the blues are gonna get darker. If we lighten the greens, then the magentas are gonna get darker, and so on. Let's do a little bit of an example so we see. First of all, let's pick, we are on the reds. If I increase the amount to 100, you'll see the reds will become lighter and lighter and lighter until it gets to complete white. If I go to, let's say, blues, when I increase the amount, the blues will become, let's move it to the blues, the blues will become white. But the opposite color, the reds over here, they're black now. So the opposite color of the color we chose is gonna go darker. The color we chose is gonna go lighter. If I move it to the greens and I go to zero, that we can see the greens. As I increase the amount, the greens will disappear and become so light to become white, but the opposite color over here will become black. So that's how the color contrast is working. Now, how do we apply this in a real life example? Well, we're gonna go back to our image. If we examine our image, what do we want to do? Well, since it's a fall color image, I would like to really make these orange trees stand out more, so I want to brighten them. Now, lucky enough, the opposite color of orange is blue, so if I lighten the trees, the orange color, to make them stand out, then the blue is going to become darker, which will give me a really nice effect on the sky. So let's see, I'll go to Edit, I'll go to Color Harmony, and I will increase the color, the amount somewhere to like maybe half. And then I will move the hue until I see my trees being very, very bright like that. And then you see the blues are becoming darker if I increase and the trees are blown out. So with any slider on Luminar, subtlety is really the key to success. You don't want to go too far. So I'll only apply a little bit about this much. This is our before and after, before and after. You see how the trees are like brighter, they are more vibrant, but the sky, it's darker. So that creates a really nice color contrast. I'm gonna reset this, and now we're moving into the split color warmth. 
This one it's split into two different sliders. One is called warm and one is cool. The warm one only affects the already warm colors in the image. So if I move the slider to the right, I will warm up the already warm colors. So at the sky, it's a blue color, which is a cool tone. It does not get affected because it's not a warm color. If I move it to the left, I'm cooling the warm colors that are in the image. So only affects the warm color. Make them warmer, make them cooler. For this image, I'm just gonna make them a little bit warmer, just a little bit. The cool slider only affects the cool slide, the cool colors in the image, which are blue, purple, green. So if I move the slider to the right, I will warm up the cool tones, which is the sky, the grass. And then if I move it to the left, I cool them. It does not affect the trees because they're orange and that's a warm color. So I'm just gonna take it to the left a little bit just to cool off the cool colors. And now this is my before and after. This will be perfect for my edit, but I'm just gonna increase both of them just a little bit, just so you can see it better on the video. Before and after. Before and after. I'm gonna reset this slider, and now we are moving along to the color balance. When I use color balance on an image, I like to start with mid-tones because that is my main, um, where well, that's my mo main colors in the image are. And this is a fall color, so I have a lot of oranges, a lot of warm colors, and I would like to accentuate that. So I'm gonna add some more oranges. Now you see, I don't have an orange slider, but I do have red and I do have yellow. And we know that red mixed with yellow gives orange. So I'm gonna add a little bit of reds and I'm gonna add a little bit of yellows. And now we have more oranges. If you look, this is the before and after. Before and after. Very subtle. I'm gonna increase it even though I would normally not do this, just so you can see it. This is the before and after. Before and after. Now that we have the mid-tone set, we can go to shadows. For the shadows, I since I have so much warmth in the image, I like to add some cool tones just to give it a little bit of contrast. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cyan and a little bit of blue on the shadows. And now this is our before and after. Before and after. So we get color boost and also color contrast. The only thing we have left to mess around with is highlights. And for highlights, I am going to introduce a little bit of orange as well. So just like before with mid-tones, I'm gonna add a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow, and that will give us a nice orange tone. So this is our whole edit from before to after. Before, after. One more time, before, and after. And we did all this edit only using color harmony. I hope this was useful and it made sense and you can use this uh, color harmony tools in editing your photos. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing and I will see you in my next video.